Welcome everyone. Today I want to help everyone who has the same issue I've been having for the past two months. Uh, there was a point where I was pressing continue game and it would show me uh, offline uh, retry connection and I could not connect in game to any online uh, situation no matter what uh, world of trucks was connected on my browser but I could not connect in game and I didn't know what the issue was now on my son's computer which is right beside my computer uh, there was no issue you could get into the game connect and it would uh, be able to get into world of trucks and you can do external contracts but for some reason on my PC I could not connect. Now, if I press it, it signs in perfectly as long as I'm, I have both my American Truck Simulator and uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 connected to World of Trucks, then I have no issue. And as long as both games have been verified by World of Trucks, then I have no issues connecting. So this was a two month problem. I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting connected to the internet in game so i'm going to show you once this finishes loading up what my issue was and how i went about fixing it uh just to give you a little report a little history um i would i also uh, communicated with scs software about my issue SCS, scs software support team uh they tried really hard to uh help me out uh i I connected with Truckers MP support as well. I also managed to reach out to Microsoft support team, uh, but they wouldn't help me with any kind of remote desktop. They just told me to res reset my PC and that everything should be back to normal. But resetting the PC, you lose all your installed programs. You keep your files, but you just have to reinstall all your programs again. So I said, no, I'm not gonna do that. I just finished doing a format. I need to figure out this problem. So Microsoft didn't help me. Truckers MP uh, asked me to send them a screenshot of my issue, uh, which didn't help me much. NCS software asked me to send uh, log files. Uh, they helped me out quite a bit, but it didn't resolve my issue. But my son told me that it, since it's running on his computer uh, and uh, it's not running on mine to check this, guys, I went to the internet folder which is down here you click on this open network and internet settings you go to the adapter this is windows 10 by the way just so you know windows 10 64 bit it's the uh, pro version just to give you a little uh, rundown as to what operating system i'm running uh and you open your Ethernet adapter, you go to properties, click on internet protocol version 4, TCP IP v4. You click on that and then you press properties. And you don't bother with the top part, but the second part is usually checked here. It's auto open, uh, obtain DNS server address. So I checked this and I added the Cloudflare uh, address. You can find that on uh, online, just the uh, Google uh, what address what DNS addresses you can use to make your internet run better and have a better connection with your browsers uh, There's two that are generalized. There's the uh, Google and the Cloudflare one Google is all full of eights I think uh, something like that. It's 888 here and 8448 or 8844 at the bottom Not really sure, but if you Google them you could find a different uh, addresses that work for you so i changed this then i went to my uh internet and uh, my firewall settings so i can close this now i went to my firewall settings which is uh, allow an app through windows file and as you can see american truck simulator this box was unchecked so what i did is i press check settings i added this which is the private connection this is public connection if you're like in an internet cafe or something that has nothing to do with uh, you don't want to check that uh, so we had this checked and Eurotruck which is a little further down right here these were both unchecked as well 
So I check these as well. If you want to add an app that you don't see in the list, you just go to change settings, allow another app. I'll just give you a quick detail as and you go to browse. You go to, let's say, Steam, where your Steam folder is. Go to Steam Apps, Common, find the game, Bin, Win64, American Truck, highlight it, press Open, and yes, Add, and it'll add it. Since it's already in, it doesn't have to do that for me, but uh, in, like I said, if you don't find it on the list, just click on Change Settings, Add it, where, where you have it installed in your uh, hard disk or SSD and uh, yeah, follow the path to the Steam folder that it's in and uh, just press apply and it'll add it. I hope this helps you out guys. This is a great tutorial. I really wanted to push this forward so people with the same issue uh, can figure out what the problem is. I hope I've helped. Don't forget guys, a lot more tutorials, a lot more guides, a lot more reviews coming, uh, gameplays, live streams so don't forget share like favorite subscribe do all those great things and stay updated by keeping that bell check mark that way you get the latest notifications as to when i release some great content thank you all see you next time bye bye